Hey, welcome to the show. Today is October 17th, 2017. Sorry for last week not doing the news, but I got a very bad cold and I wasn't basically uh, ready to do this news. But this week we have a few things I want to go over. First of all, I've come out with a Kickstarter campaign. Um, if you haven't seen that video, it was posted yesterday. Sorry I had to post it three times. I had a mistake on the video and then I had another mistake on the video and the third time was right. So sorry for that. And uh, the Kickstarter is very simple. It's a new series of videos I want to do traveling around the world, documenting uh, film industry, film photography industry. My first stop is going to be Intrepid Cameras. And I started the Kickstarter campaign for you guys, uh, the viewers, or anyone interested in Intrepid's story or maybe future buyer uh, will uh, help me fund my trip, go there, do the video, and then I'll post it on my YouTube video. So if you're willing to help, there are some rewards like prints and stuff like that, which you can benefit of. And if you don't uh, think is uh, an important thing for you, you can wait for the next one. I'm already doing um, dates and travel plans for my second trip, which will most probably be to Italy. So just in case you are interested in this series, just check it out and you can share or, you know, fund if you feel like it. Second, on the Kickstarter news, we have Labbox with a pretty big update. They've actually said um, they've changed the knob. They've made it better and more, how do you say it, leak proof. They've also made a lid with a thermometer integrated. They've called it, I think, professional lid, which actually looks really nice. It has a little probe which goes into the liquid so it can take the temperature while you're developing. Also, they set a little timer with three steps so you can plus minus, you know, your time and it will beep or give you a little notice that your developing time or stop time or fixing time is done. So that's good news from Labbox. They're also opening a little store, but they still haven't given the link. So I can't share that with you, but I left the update below. Also, if you don't know about, there's a Spanish brand called Nopo, N-O-P-O, which makes pinhole cameras. They're made out of wood. They actually look very nice and they've just launched a new 4x5 camera. So if you're interested on these uh, pinhole cameras, I highly recommend you check it out. He's a personal friend of mine, so I know the cameras are built pretty nicely. He's got a shutter mechanism, which is very ingenious and it has a filter thread on the lens. So, well, lens. So I think it's a very nice solution for those liking pinhole photography and, um, you know, having some of the accessories we have with other cameras. Also this week, we've heard that um, MoMA Museum, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, is gonna be selling some photography prints. I don't know why they need the funds, but I left the link below to their Christie's, um, how do you say, auction house. So if you're interested in buying some, you know, one of a kind almost pieces of art in the photography history, they're gonna have a ton of those pictures uploaded there during the next few months. So if you're one of those people that can collect art in that uh, level, I highly recommend you check it out because it's not, this is not one of those chances that comes twice. Also on Kickstarter, I found uh, a book called The Go For Broke Spirit Book. And um, this book is all shot on film and the rewards are basically contact prints or the book or prints from the book. And it's all about Japanese American veterans from World War II, and I think it's worth having a look. I think there's a few days left after I post this video. So if you feel like supporting that Kickstarter, I think it's very interesting. Also, something that I've been requested and I've seen in other places and I haven't had an answer till a few days back is about Kodak T-Max 100 in 120. Back um, a few months ago, maybe even a year ago, Kodak had a lot of issues where their backing paper, they supposedly had changed manufacturer and they were having some kind of chemical reaction and the backing paper would uh, go see through onto the frame. So on the sky, especially you could see numbers. I actually documented it on the news. And ever since uh, T-Max 100 has been back ordered. And I think people have just not forgotten, but kind of like left it on the side and uh, before this week, I wrote Kodak and I asked them, hey, what's going on with T-Max 100 and 120? Are we going to have it back? So they wrote me back and I'm going to read the answer because I don't want to publish it on the screen just because I don't think it's the right thing. 
But here he says, there was a technical problem related to the unique attributes of TMAX 100 and the 120 film backing paper that we have now resolved. Sorry it took so long, but the testing was pretty rig rigorous. And I hope you can appreciate that we would rather err on the side of protecting our black and white film customers. We will be resuming production of 120 format TMAX 100 in November. I'm guessing it's November this year. So if you're a TMAX 100 user, um, you're gonna get TMAX back in stock in November 2017, which is great news. It's just down you know, the road in a few weeks. So yeah, that's the news with Kodak. Also, there's news on the Russian film market and Silbera, which I notified about here, but they only had a Russian site, now have an English site. So if you go to silbera.com, you can read about them in English. They also have an Indiegogo campaign that will go live uh, October 25th, and they've already been sending emails to those people subscribed to their email listing. I'm listed on it and they're showing what the product will look like and the boxing and so on. So if you're interested on new products coming from Russia, I highly recommend you check them out. Also coming to talk about Kodak, I read on Facebook and I have no link to share that Kodak is gonna be raising their prices as of November 1st. So if you're into Kodak products, I highly recommend you check it out. This has come from a source that directly talks to Kodak Alaris. Um, and I'll try to find the little post I found uh, to do the news. But take my word, Kodak prices will be going up as of November 1st. So try to stock up a little bit before that. Also, there's been a tease from Cat Labs of JP. And they posted a picture of a Deardorff camera. If you don't know what Deardorff is, they are an American brand making large format cameras. Deardorff kind of went down when the owner and uh, Deardorff himself uh, passed away. Someone else got it and got it kind of in a bit of trouble between getting cameras paid up front and then sometimes taking some time to distribute them. And um, I think Cat Labs is going to do something with Deardorff. I can't specify yet. I did ask and I was told that some parts will be in stock at Cat Labs soon. So I think we're gonna see Deardorff coming back, but I can't guarantee and say it's actually news yet. But I would check it out if you're a Deardorff user or you wanna buy a camera in the future. Also a new large format film camera is in the market as of, I think yesterday, and it's called Malefica camera. And it's a large format camera that looks a lot like um, the travel wide. It has a plastic body, no movement, only a helical in the front, and you can focus. It will take normal film backs and, um, or film holders, sorry, and also instant film with an adapter. They started a Kickstarter, so the product's still not available. And the interesting thing is the Kickstarter for um, the travel wide was only for a 90 and a 65 without the cone, without the helical. But this one, says they can make different versions. So if you have a 150 or you have a 120 or a 65, 72, different lenses, you can buy um, a Malefica camera. So if you're interested in this kind of product, it's coming from Italy. I left the link below to his Kickstarter, just started yesterday, I think. So you've got plenty of time to check it out and uh, fund the project if you want. Also something that caught my eye by a user that sent it to me, there's uh, a film map online, and this is an idea I actually had a long time ago, but never had the time to execute. And the website's called wheretobuyfilm.co, not .com. And um, basically, it's a uh, Google Maps with little point points of where you can purchase film around the world, which I think is a great idea to help the community when you're traveling or you're in need somewhere else or you ran out of film and you just want to find it. So if you do know of any stores, check it out, see if you can help the community there. And if you're just interested in buying and finding, just check it out. Also in the large format industry, we have Gandolfi cameras, which is a English um, camera maker that as of uh, October 13th has retired and no longer running the business. These cameras are um, British made and they've been made for many, many years. I actually didn't know they still made them and found out about this through Cat Labs. So thank you Cat Labs for the information. 
and I left the link to their website. They still have a few products available and they will do minor repairs for a little while. So do check it out if you're a user or you didn't know about this brand and you wanna check it out and maybe buy one of their last cameras. Also, I wrote um, Adox and asked them about the CHS uh, 100 um, version two film. And this I gave the news a while back, I think over a year back, because uh, the blog post where they talked about it was September 29th. And uh, Adox bought the Ilford coating plant in Switzerland. And no, it's not the coating plant that you're thinking of Ilford, normal Ilford, like this Ilford, but the Ilford that was making uh, the Ilford Chrome and some other paper, which was a different brand to the original Ilford. And they went bankrupt and Adox bought their little mini plant. And what I mean mini, I mean they can make film as large, I think, as, as 50 uh, centimeters or 60. I know they can do 20 by 24, which is 50 by 60 um, centimeters. So the cooling line, they're getting it ready. It's been over a year and I wrote them to ask if there was any update because this film is right now out of stock. And they told me that they're working their best to make this uh, happen as soon as possible. But it is uh, much trickier than, of course, we all think it is. And they're not yet ready to release the film. So if there's any updates, I'll try to let you guys know if you're an Adox CHS100 user. Um, they did sell them in ultra large format, 35, 120, and so forth, which was really nice for us ultra large format users in Europe. So yeah, that's all for this week. As always, if you have any information, send me an email to the email below. Um, I hope you can check out my Kickstarter and uh, maybe help me make this video happen. And if you have any questions about my Kickstarter tomorrow, I'll be live on YouTube and you can write me your questions beforehand or join me during my live stream and ask anything you want. There's nothing to hide. Well, thank you. See you next week.